Fears to Fathom, Episode 5. The Woodbury Getaway, December 8th. I needed coffee to get done with the day. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, we're filling in sheets. Ha! I can fill in the sheets myself. Uh, sorry. Let me just see. Uh, is this out or in? Book one sheet. Yeah, this is so... <laughs> oh, they have Type Invader again as well. Reloaded. Oh, total. <laughs> this is great. This is just gonna be the game, it's fine. I wonder how long this is. It, this can't be infinite, right? This can't be infinite. This game, by the way, in some way is in each of the games, which is really funny. It, I think it started in the second or third episode where he added these kind of mini games in there. And this is the reloaded version. Oh, holy shit. The feet first, no feet. Go away. Yeah, you do. Go away. Get in the car, quickly. Drive away. This has to be the end. There's an alien in it. Oh, there we go. And that got, <laughs> that got me an achievement as well. That actually got me an achievement. That's great. Uh, you know what? You owe us uh, two million. Yeah, just just send us two hundred million dollars. Okay, that's enough. We've done enough work. Coffee time now. Like I said, I really needed a cup of coffee. <sighs> Seems all fine out there. Have we just moved office? Oh, uh, okay. I already found a throwable. That's good. Where is the kit? There's the kitchen. Uh, what do we have? What do we do? We drink milk with our coffee? No, I believe we take our coffee. Black, so I'm just gonna. It needed water, really? They didn't refill the. There's a shout out stuck on my screen. Oh, I will have to manually fix that. Why did that get stuck? Let's see if this fixes that. We'll just shout out specking for now. Uh, we have to add coffee. Now we need the cup again. Yeah, you should refill the water. If you empty it, please refill it. What coffee did I make? Is that cappuccino? I don't... That does not look like cappuccino. Okay, there we go. We got coffee. Do you want anybody want sugar in their coffee? Does anybody want sugar in their coffee? No. Okay, we'll just take it black then. Uh, just cream? No, no, no. I'm lactose intolerant. I'm not adding cream. That seems like a bad idea. Am I getting faster from drinking the coffee? There we go. We got ourselves some coffee. We got ourselves some coffee. We sit down. We have to pee. 
You know what? That sounds all too familiar at the moment. But yeah, you fixed that. You didn't. Fi that person probably didn't fill up the coffee machine, so they can deal with that. You mean I can't? Why can't I go that way? Wait, what? Okay. Where's the bathroom? Spending the horror game in the bathroom is a good idea. Uh, oh, restrooms. This way. Who else is working? Hey, chief! What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. I, I was just checking if you need anything. Can't these clients ever make up their mind? Still working on that report? Yeah, I'm trying to get this done. Good luck. I didn't realize somebody else was working late today. At least I'm not alone. That's that's nice. Okay, let's use the bathroom. Um... You know what? I'm gonna take a guess with a name as... Well, try this side. That was the wrong side. There we go. Yeah, we cannot see ourselves. We're vampires. Must be. Oh, this, by the way, is also very much a um, staple of this game. In the other ones, where you're playing mill character, you get the whirlwind. Which is also weird. Yeah, clients definitely need to make up their minds. That's just... Uh... <gasps> ah! I, I, uh, did you bring me clean underwear by any chance? Did- I'm so sorry, should have knocked before I came in, but isn't anyone in here this late? No, it's fine, you're just doing your job. Again, I'm sorry, I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. What has you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. Um, well, that, that's really rude that they other, that those other people do that. Yeah, it's very rude. It's not, I, yeah, no, no, see, I, it's not me. It's definitely not me. Baker, I can highly recommend them. I can highly recommend them. I wonder if I didn't throw the coffee cup just randomly and actually threw it in the bin, would I still have gotten that jump scare? Hands washed. That would be really cool if you do that and you actually clean up your coffee cup and then you don't get the jump scare. Put it in the bin. Can you put it in the bin? I don't know, Blurry. I don't know. That would be really good, though. I, I threw mine over here somewhere. Hello. Oh, there's nobody in the supply room. I'm just gonna... Uh, where did I throw my coffee cup? <laughs> there. You know what? I'm just gonna put it in the trash where it... Be where it belongs. Everything's okay now, I think. I think everything's okay now. I am not a litter bug. Not in the slightest. Hello? Hey, Orp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Uh, my battery dies oh, at the worst snap. times. I was starting to think maybe you were. Hey, Ducky, me. how are you doing? <laughs> uh, 
Don't you be sus of me, Baker. You saw me throw the cup into the trash after I threw it onto somebody else's desk. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. No, it even got out on a client late, uh, earlier. Um, um, uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Ja, work has been Damn, overwhelming Mark, lately. Good thing I called to cheer you up. You did? Yeah, thank you very um, much for that. About our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Oh, you're gonna be a weird one, aren't you, Mike? You're gonna be a weird one, aren't you, Mike? Ah, uh, thank you, Maria. Annoying, I had to choose how the vertical looks like. Yeah, you do. But on the other hand, I think if you set it once, it remembers it. Or at least it might remember it on my end now. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, we should hey. be fine. What? I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Mike. <sighs> no, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sure. Uh, I guess I'll That's let gonna you get back to That's going to be a mistake. That's going to be a mistake. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. Yes. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under a hundred dollars a night. Nora okay. and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Sure, I'll find something it affordable. Like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I should really make right, the booking right, now. Sorry yeah. Okay. Hey, Jesus, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, would you kindly travel together? Sure, or why not? You don't get a choice. All right, talk to you later, Harp. Talk to you later. Oh, what do I need to do next? I suppose I'm going to book that place, aren't I? Last binder, a minute under $100 a night for three people. Three no, I haven't played. Yeah, I played the first one a bit, but that was it. Okay, let's see. Um, book the cabin. Browser. Um, cabin for... I have a magical keyboard. It knows what it what, what it needs to type. I've got a magical key. It knows what it needs to type. Who knew? I want one of those. Foxy, thank you for the lurk. <laughs> Illusion of choice detected. Exactly, exactly. Would you kindly play it again sometime? I might. I might. I'm not big on shooters, though. If you had one of those, you'd still have time. <laughs> you would still have typos. Would you kindly rate Bioshock 10 out of 10? I'll give Bioshock a good 8 out of 10. Hey, Saitor, how are you doing? Although I am saying that fully relying on memory from, like, Many, many years ago. I love the fr Frosty just goes, I'd still have typos, and then typos the typo. Where are we going? Um, you know what? Magic keyboard, do your thing. Oh, we're going to Woodbury. Hey, King, how are you doing? $350 a night. I mean, for a whole cabin? Did he say $100 or $100 per person? It is, yeah. Can I book? It was over our budget. 
Okay, can I make up for the rest? Private cabin in Woodbury. Wi-Fi garden, TV kitchen. That whole house for $99 a night. Oh, that's awesome, Sitar. Let's go. Wait, was there another one I could book? Come back. No, there wasn't. 3.1, two reviews. Can we see the reviews, please? No, all we can do is just book it. Com booking has been confirmed. Brilliant. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. Hey, fish! I would just bring a tent. I would 100% just bring a tent. Hey, Rex! How are you doing? How are you doing? I hope you're doing well! When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont. I mean, Vermont itself is rural. Rural Vermont is double rural. Which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. My other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin. Close our shift early on Friday, leave and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. It's rural squared, correct. Doc said I was all good, clear going, but I got... Yeah, that I get that. That is painful. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. That was one giant PSP. And two... That was a very, very wide smile. Hi, Sydney. Thank you for booking my property. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact me for anything during your stay. Day? Stay. Thanks, Rick. Uh, code is 5176 for the lockbox. You'd smile so wide as well if you had a giant PSP. He was just very happy. He was also playing without looking, so he must have been good. Uh, y yes, I am just walking into the garage. There we go. Oh, I am actually walking into the garage. I was like... I'm just going to tell him I'm walking into the garage. I'm going to be about 15 minutes, but that's okay. He'll wait. Hi, Mike. Hello. Hey. Hello. Harp. Hug. Mike doesn't look too happy about this, I have to say. Is that because he doesn't have a giant PSP? That's still how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Maybe I'm not a hugger. Because you gave him the friend hug, not the special hug. Mega Greg, you could not be more right. I'm just gonna stay silent. You look good. So do you, Mike. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Can I not... Can I, can I not put my stuff... But that seems like a bad idea. Are you ready to hit the road? Where's Nora? She'll meet us there. 
The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. All right then, Harp. Yeah, Mike's giving off a weird aura. Yeah, <laughs> the whole episode is just going to be about fighting over the giant PSP. That's just it now. He wants my giant PSP. It was starting to snow. We don't get to drive? Ah, The driving in the last games was fun. Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Funny how that works. Change is just hard. Like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's your job go going for? How is your job going so far? We're working on that this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Uh, I I agree with you, Amanda. I would probably have gone for Sid with this one. Sydney Harper, probably Sid. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite shown each Stark yet, but I'll take it. Oh, we have a text message. You know, I never understood. What do consultants even do? Explain. That sounds like important work. Did you see that school bus? See what? A school bus back there, by the old house. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. Mm. It's nearly 5pm and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just wanted to check in and make sure everything is okay. The roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous. Speaking of dangerous, oi! One of my favorite things about you playing these games is when you get sidetracked by the driving. I freaking love dri driving. I really like driving. It came out of nowhere. You know, I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Great. Great. Yeah, we're on our way. Shall we turn the radio on? Mike, is that okay if we if we just Is that okay? There's a ton of random broken down school buses in people's side yards over here in Maine, so it's not very surprising to me. I don't know if that's normal or there's just a bunch of weird serial killers in Maine. I think they are just not used to being outside of major cities. You've met somebody that lived out of a modified school bus? Honestly, I would do that just as a project. Just for fun, just as a project, I would 100% do that. Seems like a great time. How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know. Driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. I see where you're getting at, but come on, dude. Even I'm not that nerdy. Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Can we just so long and thanks for all the fish now or do I have to wait? It's kind of beautiful. Yes, it is. It is kind of beautiful. So... I don't know, but I think we're sleeping with our socks on with this mic around. Oh, it's a dairy... M I, 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 what? Can we stop? Yo, Harp, check that out. What? The fact that they have pizza... Oh! Better than dairy. It's pizza. Let's bring pizza for Nora, too. Let's do it. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. 
This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza by myself. <laughs> Wait, that isn't normal? Like, eating a whole pizza by yourself, that- that's- No? Mm. Yeah, totally normally, right? Yeah. Just pizza, boom. Yeah, that seems fairly normal. American pizza sizes? You know what? What do we want? A fizz, a mountain pew, a red cola, an energy ball, a prep C or a do We need a Dr. Fizz. Dr. Fizz is the best drink out there. I agree, Rex. Me too. Dr. Fizz is be better than regular Fizz. Mountain Pew. No, that's too much sugar. We're already gonna have a pizza. I think we're gonna... Shouldn't we just... Yeah, poll time? No. I think I think we're just gonna go with Dr. Fizz. I want some Dr. Fizz. That's what I want. Give me... Give me... Oh. What am I wait? My drink! Give me a second! Can I crouch? I can. There we go. Sorry, I just... I... I I am, yeah, I am. Thank you. I was just for thousands of cabins readily available and accessible. This just in: reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Residents I'm just gonna drink to some. Stay indoors and keep. They didn't have any papisi. No. Let's check in with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands. Okay. Like uh, the studio should have really brought some snow gear instead of buying that new coffee machine. I'm sure you'll be fine. You can have some coffee when you get back to the studio. Jerry, you cannot be serious. You know my doctor said not to drink any caffeine. Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe you should <laughs> cool off. You little shit. Why can't you go out here and deal with the snow instead of me? I've been working here for six years, and I never get to report somewhere nice. Listen, <laughs> you're clearly the better looking one. You can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty. Is that queso? Really? My face looks perfectly fine. You could also use some Botox while you're Oi! Actually, maybe you should just work as a studio light and shut off the camera. I think it would be better field of work for you. You only got your job because your sister works at the mixing board. You would have never been able to work here if it wasn't for her. I'd like to see you Jax, this is a sometime. How dare you? I, I don't know. News anchor. Certified. Yeah, my ass. Okay. You didn't do shit. How about I come by the studio and we This is this, this is a one oh, person yeah? death project. Well, it, so Mark. they probably just got we'll be something. Right back after this commercial break. They probably just got somebody to to animate that for them. You, you, you Who was the me. other person then? If that was Queso. Is your first time seeing a Fierce to Fathom episode? It's good. I enjoy I How can I can I just give this to you? Is that okay? Triple H? Knock off Triple H? Will you? Yeah, you just have... Yeah, yeah, you deal with that. Send that out with to somebody. It's fine. Okay, these pizzas are fairly small. It's a great game, Gax. I'm re... Honestly, the Fierce to Fathom games are really, really good. Looks like every... Uh, looks like the Colts got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? Three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. Give me a Moe's special. And, um... A pepperoni. And a Moe's special. Any drinks? Ooh. No, I want a drink. Oh, snap. I left my wallet in the car. Do you have cash, Harper? Really? Really, Mike? Really? Sure. I'll pay. Just get three whole... You're gonna be three people. Why not just get three whole pizzas? Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. 
What's the most... Spe is that the most special? Or is that the veggie? That might be the veggie. Then that's the most special. Pepperoni, beef, basil, cheese. Not bad. Apparently not, Gax. The Caprese looks good. That's this one, isn't it? The That one. That does look nice. Or is that the margarita? <clears throat> no, that must be the margarita. So, yeah, that's that's a caprese. What? Hello. <clears throat> Ooh, coffee. <clears throat> Wait, can I get something to drink from this one as well? No. Hey, chap. How's the pizza? The pizza's great, actually. I think Moe's may have ruined other pizzas for us. Are you from here? No, we're on our way to a conference in the next town over. Not too much further to go. We just stopped to eat whenever a place looks interesting. This place definitely has a cozy vibe. What's this dude doing inside us? Can he go away, please? Shiny EV! Thank you so much for the follow, you absolute legend. Thank you very, very much. Hey, Donnie! Everything started breaking at work, and now you're just you're just now getting around to say hi. That's all good. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Let's see, let's see. Mike probably opens a bag of chips with scissors. There. <laughs> Danny, I sadly... Do not have a pizza command. No. Best decision of the trip so far. How about you? Local or passing through? Just passing through. Interesting. Um, I better get back to the pizza. You have a safe trip and be care. And be care in the snow. Sure, enjoy the pizza. I don't want to talk to you. Old man! How's the pizza? Well, my dear, you absolutely can't go wrong with the pepperonis here at Moe's. Every bite reminds you... Oh, sorry. Every bite reminds you of a story. Story? I'm here on a road... So, oh, wait, 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 wait. So, what brings you to Moe's? I'm here on a road trip with my friend. You've made a good choice coming here. Do you come here often? Oh, my dear. I've been coming to Moe's since 85. This place is full of memories for me. Though my daughter, bless her, she tries to keep me from eating too much pizza. Bad for a man my age, she says. She worries too much. Only have one of those heavenly slices about twice a month now. Why do you have a whole box, then? Well, it was nice chatting to you. Safe travels to you and your friend. It was nice talking to you. You have more than one slice, sir! You liar! Did you just say underground? You can beat me! But you can never beat the taste of UFO burgers. Put an end to meals from cheap food stalls. A secret recipe that has been passed down for 6,000 years. Doubled from the Burr O2 You want a beef to tongue burrito with black beans, red with rice, beef green beef salsa, and lettuce? Way. In what way? No onion? That's the sweet secret of the establishment. Galactic buns are compressed in a special galactic press powered by dark matter. The temperature inside fuses the sides of the buns together and creates an unearthly shape. Since my cows disappeared, I take care of my sorrows with burgers. I haven't eaten anything this delicious in a long time. Katrine, I miss you. Come home. I promise to sow more grass. Come and see for yourself. Burgers so delicious, your eyes will pop out of your orbit. That was a weird commercial. That was a very strange commercial. Who puts onions in their burritos? I put red onions in my burritos. She said, not too much. Just raw red onions a little bit. Always nice. Beef tongue can be really nice. It just needs to cook for a hundred years. That's true. I 
still don't know what the rest are doing. We're going to have a chat with them in just a second. Like, he seems, to, he seems to be hiding his pizza from her. She's just like, this is my pizza. I already ate some. It's fine. Hello there. Where are you headed? Who are you? I'm Sydney. Look, Sydney. We're just here to enjoy our pizza and peace. Thanks for understanding. No worries. Gee. How mean. What about you, chap? Do you have any recommendation? Get the cheese. Just the cheese. Oh, I made a mistake. Uh, hello? Can I change my order, please? Hello. How you doing, my friend? Pretty hungry. Pizza does smell awfully good. Are you here for the pizza? No, just looking for a little help. Maybe I can help you? Maybe you can, but you go on and get some pizza first. Maybe we'll catch up later. All right. Been enjoying onions as a side? I wish I was joking. No, I get it. I get it. Like a nice onion salad or something would work. Is my pizza done yet? We'll be right out. I can't wait. No, no literally. Wait, 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 wait. Doors open. Ah. Sir? Come back. I was hoping I could jump into the door. I was hoping, but no. Long sniff. It smells so good in here. Sure, Mike. Sure. My pizza ready yet? Oh. Oh. What about onions on a chili dog? I'm fine with that too. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. That's also a streamer. That's also a streamer. Is that Limu? Uh, yes. That's Limalicious. Ha! Okay, so he got a lot of streamers. I think that's Limalicious. Ferret VTuber. You guys are going to hate me. I swear I'll get on the It's it's the first the first this this sound. You guys are going to hate me. I think that's Limalicious. That's funny. That's cool. I like that they got people in for this. Uh, did you just listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yes. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're going home. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna, um, sorry, Mike, it's, uh, yeah, we're going. Yeah, I, I want to go home now. Sorry. Thank you. I want to, can we, bye, I'm eating out here. Nope, we're not doing it. Uh, Thictrus. That's exactly what he did. The moment we met, he went, You still give hugs like that? Give me a better hug. Uh, let's have some pizza, shall we? Oh, damn. This pizza slaps. Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb-ass pizza. Jesus Christ. When were you born? Don't mind me just continuing on my pizza. That, by the way, is not how I eat my pizza. I eat the whole... I, I eat a pizza slice and then leave the outer crust. 
And then at the end, I'll use some kind of dipping sauce to eat the crust. Especially with stuffed crust, that is the best way to eat a pizza. You actually eat the crust? Yeah, of course. No, I get that thick truss. I'm sorry. Of course I eat it. But you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? No, but I would put it in sugar water to make an orange syrup. Or um, use it as garnish on cocktails. That That's how these things work. Of course I'm eating the crust. Yeah, exactly, Mega Greg. Hello! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Big summer blowout! Hello there. I saw you all pull in driving that nice old truck. Are you just... That's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Uh... Where are you headed? Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer, just hiking the trails and seeing the country. So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Uh, no. No? You kidding me? Have you seen the snow out there? You make me... You want me walking down the road in this freezing weather? Look, I said no. You ain't too kind, are ya? I grew up in the city. Goodbye. You've heard me say, sorry, what? You who? Like that a bunch of times, and every time I think of that scene from Frozen, everybody does. You who? Big summer blowout. That was weird. He didn't even order anything. I feel bad for the guy, though. After all these years, you're still the same old harp. Thank you. Now let me eat. Hey, Epic! How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well, you absolute legend. We're skipping by the food noises very, very quickly, which are surprisingly much louder than anything else in this game. It's done, Thictrus. It's done. We're through. I'm just... You know what? I, I, How do I get into the menu? I don't think I can. Oh, I have... I'm very, very sorry. There's one more thing I need to do. Uh, uh. Apparently, we get to burp. I'm gonna... T yeah, I, I believe you can turn off the noises. I don't know. I have no idea. Drive slow. Don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Michael J. Ca oh, he's that kind of a person. He has his name in Messenger set include his middle name. Holy, that was good. All right, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? Take a break while I drive, Michael. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one condition. I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Deal. I get to drive. That's the important part. Let me drive. Okay, he just slammed the door in my face. Here we go. We get to drive. This is always so much fun. If they actually let me drive. 5.49 p.m. They don't let me drive. Oh, they do. You haven't missed much, Helene. How are you doing? We're still on our way to the horror place. This is Mike. Mike is a little clingy. Here's a track that'll make you feel right. Coming up next, Be Sincere by Ned and Lotus. Stay warm. Here we go. Car coming in. 
Hello. Watch out where you're driving! Not me speeding. No, we're not gonna kill Mike with the car. We missed the turn at first. Well, you didn't tell me to turn, did you now? It's fine. That's one way to take the scenic route. Yes, it is. I'm ruining your car. I should have just let Mike drive. No, it's fine. We got this. It's all good. What is that? Is that just a shack in the middle of nowhere? Uh, this, this is this is Mike. We are Sid. We are Sid Harper, Sydney Harper. I don't know if this is DMCA free free music. Actually, we're just gonna live with it. But Mike is a little creepy. We should be getting really close. Pretty close. Do you remember the address? Two four one Woodbury Boulevard. Walk over the mountains, find a new home. Away from the town. I could spend a year on a I could try my hardest and I'll never reach Oh, we're now in Woodbury. I know that I'm weak. Love inside my heart. Didn't want to change. That's it. We're here. It's here to the left. I recognize the cellar. We're here. Here we are! Hey, Smee, how are you doing? My legs fell asleep one second. Really? Oh, I'm not even gonna turn off your car. We're just gonna go. It was a very cold night. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. Mike, Mike is, Mike is weird. Hey, Lainey. Mike gives us the creeps at the moment. He is very starey, yes. Uh. Oh, what was the code again? 5176. There we go. Go on. Oh, I'm heading in first. Ah! Ah! Uh, what a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here, right? But I really need to hit to John. Well, now it no longer will smell. It won't, won't smell nice anymore, that's for sure. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. You know what? This is actually quite a nice cabin for that price. Let me just put my bag here. Uh, there's the fridge. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Can I just... Yes. Milk. Milk. Lemons? Oranges, bell peppers, eggs, yeah, froyo, that goes into the ice zone, and lettuce. That seems weird. Ha! Ah. Uh, sorry about that. Are you okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that harp. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. 
it's nice to get away from the city for this this death really wants us to go and pee for sure i really need to pee i'll be right back you can go ahead i'll start unpacking our bags no 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 mine 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 come back here give me my bag He's gonna put us in the same bedroom, isn't he? We are not, Helene. No. We are definitely not. The smell alone told me the pizza had really done a number on Mike. Open the freaking... Open the window, then. Okay, this is a little creepy. Maestro! Maestro! Thank you for the 300 biddies, you absolute legend. And the extra 45. How are you doing? I hope you're doing amazing. Guys, can we please get a shout out for the wonderful Maestro Spooks? That would be a wonderful. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing amazing. Oh, this is so weird. Uh, hey, Rick, we've checked in. Um, can you bring some air freshener? Hopefully that'll, that'll take care of that problem. Being bad at your day job? No, no, no. You're great at your day job. And apparently we're washing our hands before and after. Uh. Did you just open and close that door? Much better now. Ready to check out the place? Sure. After you. Can, can you just... Okay, come on. We're going outside first. Oh, look. Well, those are nice drawings. Uh, it seems Mike's... Yeah, Mike's face is doing little weird things. Oh, this is not bad. This re guy really must like fishing. It can be fun. Look at that. Yeah, he must love his if this game makes me fish, I swear to God. Oh, there's a light. Jesus, that is creepy. Yeah, Mike, please back up, sir. Personal space. Oh, there's actually a creek back here. That's kind of nice. So we could actually go fishing. If we can find a fishing rod. Chop some wood. For a fire. Not bad, not bad. I mean, for $100, this is too cheap, right? Let's be honest. A barbecue in the snow? Done that before. It can be really nice. Is there another cool... Oh, that, oh, that's a fish box. That's a tackle box over there. Ooh, crossword puzzlers. Can't wait to cook here later. When did you start cooking? I'm full of surprises. Wink. I do hate fishing mechanics, but we could go fishing. Let's see if the Oh, hello. Like a little tool shed here. Oh, this is creepy. A totally normal basement. This place totally reminds me of your college room. 
I don't smell the Long Beach Beach Kush here. That's because the really go away. Oh, that is dark. I can't see a thing. Is there a light switch here somewhere? No. Of course there isn't. I wonder what this guy doesn't want us to see. There's the light switch. Got it. Boiler. It looks like a probably an electricity box of some sort. Fair enough, fair enough. If you wrapped up... Wait, what? What was meant to be an A, not an I? I may have missed something there, Frosty. Hey, Nox, how are you doing? How are you doing? If you're in the middle of... Uh... <laughs> yeah, exactly. True. Yeah, I think you're right there, Mega Greg. If you're in the middle of nowhere and it's not... It is not a destination and it could be reasonable especially in the winter with nothing around true owner even made us a fire this living room is bigger than my apartment i bet you also pay less for this place if you would really rent it for sure ah oh, nice knocks okay little that's an atari that's a that's an American Atari 2600. Oh, there's a Ouija board here. Catopoly. What's this? Whispers in the dark. Tower stack. Mega rounds. Star Titan Force. Snakes and ladders. Dragon's labyrinth. Chess. Mike, please. Uh, Mike, 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 ple please. Mike, 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 please. You, you. Get away. Get away. Get away. Mike, why am I... You've made me... Move! I'm stuck! Mike has softlocked me into this freaking... Mike, can I please... I need... Mike! This, by the way, is not the first time we are bugging a game in this manner. Please! Hello? Hello? Outside, hello? Mike? Ah! Stay there. You... Freaking hell, I had to... Look, I had to actually glitch up on that chair onto the desk for him to step in. Finally! Frickin' hell. Oh, we, we're well aware with that room, aren't we, Mike? Yeah, we're not going in there. Okay, you have dibs on the first bedroom, so this will be yours. <laughs> I hate you so much. Oh, hey, you're here. Yes, I sent you a text message. Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, no, we're not a couple. You didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. I was just answering his question. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement and you, never mind. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier and I remembered the TV here has been on the fritz. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. 
You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my home sweet home. Okay. I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. The host was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Is Mike obsessed with you in, in love? And is he gonna hurt you if you don't reciprocate? Probably. I would not be surprised. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, this is a hiding spot. Okay, you have to be quiet. At some point, we're gonna have to be quiet in there. Can I just not jump? Okay, I like getting myself stuck as well, apparently. Hello! Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Cold, then. This sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom. Okay. okay. At least the shower works. I didn't need to use the towel. I didn't ask for a towel. Does this dude live here? He did pull a where's my hug earlier. Yeah, true. I bet you Mike is a nice guy and feels entitled to getting into your pants because he's been friendly to us. Please don't do that. No. Look, Harp, this view... Oh, sorry. Look, Harp. This view room has a nice-ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. You know what? Are you coming, miss? No, let me look at the room for a second. You say something about a nice view, but I can't see anything. That is not a nice view. That is a terrible view. No, it was an E, not an I, Thictress. Oh, okay, that is pretty nice. To be fair. I think I prefer it up here to downstairs. Holy smokes, this is incredible. I mean, it's not... You're overselling it a little bit, Mike. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks. Let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. Australian accents work wonders. Yeah, or... Or... or um. New Zealand. Kiwi accent. Here is the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. Thanks. All right, folks. Let's head downstairs now. Was this only... Yeah, this was the only place under 100 bucks. It was this. 150, 299. And I think one for 250 as well or something like that. Alrighty, folks. I see you've already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks how the, the show you folks the water heater. Why? Do you guys think it's gonna be broken? I am on my way. Give me a bloody second. Holy shit. I spoke to my mom-in-law for the first time the other day. Only been with Piggy for 20 years. She has a very strong Dutch accent with a little Aussie. That's kind of cool. Um, Nothing to worry about down here. Just a water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. 
The pirate light will fire right up and you'll be back to business. G great. Hey, Falcon, how you doing? Hey, hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. No access to guests. I couldn't open the door. The lock is right there. It's a twisty lock. It is literally right there. What do you mean you can't open the door? You know what? Never mind. We're moving on. And we're walking. And we're... Did I mention... Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. <laughs> the looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just joking. <sighs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna continue. All right, folks. Snow starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. You mean you came here looking for your cat? Realized, oh, my cat isn't here. Let me fix the TV quickly. I don't trust him either. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ah, Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Ugh. The owner of this house is a bit weird. He is very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. <laughs> Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. See you in a bit. Can I just... Can't I shower here? I was keen on taking shower upstairs. Hey, you. Do you have a car? Do you have insurance? Do you have a dog? No? Well, you're in luck. Because here at Larry's Auto Insurance Animal Rescue Dealership, we have it all. Buy a dog, and then buy a car for that dog, along with a purchase of some high-end insurance for the car that you bought for that same dog. One-year warranty on all new models from 2005 to 2006, only $299.99 a year. We offer dirt-cheap coverage for quality vehicles. You'll never find better prices anywhere, especially not at our competitor, Dave's Dealership, because we're the best. Sorry. Dogs purchased from our dealership Just so we're clear. are certified pure bread and butter inbreed diamond grade hounds. Note, not all dogs are tested for influenza and may or may not carry multiple military-grade weaponry. But not to <laughs> Military-grade well. weaponry? So come on down to Larry's Auto Insurance Animal Rescue Dealership today and get yourself the deal of a lifetime. Does he sometimes do deals where you get a free dog with every purchase? Because that is... <laughs> that is hilarious. That is amazing. Nora, Nora, please come over. So Nora is our other friend who's also maybe... Who also might be coming over. Or should be coming over. The ad was the best thing. No, I'm going to be completely honest. The best thing so far has to be the, the beef between the news anchors. That was funny. That was hilarious. I didn't need to use the towel. I mean, you're going to shower. Pretty sure you do. Mike never invited Nora. Then she's an accomplice. She said she's coming late. If the dogs come with military weapons, I'll take two and a car. <laughs> he still didn't bring any air freshener, by the way. 
Do we now need to use the towel? Are we are we clothed? I'm gonna assume we are clothed. Else the ghost orbs. If ghost orbs. I found this fishing rod in the shed. Planning to catch dinner. Now that you mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to this trip. Let's do it. Follow me. There's another rod in the shed. So we can both give it a shot. Okay, so we are going to have to go fishing. Oh, it's my worst nightmare. Horror game fishing. What? Can I not just... Do you want to grab the other fishing rod? Yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll ne need to catch three carp, though. You up for the challenge? First things first, we need to check the, need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Yeah, I, I understand how fishing works. Uh, can't we go for bass or trout instead? Pike? No, we have to go for carp. So we're gonna give it either sweet corn or cheese delight. Sweet corn. Do we have any cheese delight here? Yes, we do. How do I... There we go. I'll take it with me, just to be sure. I know where it is. I took you there earlier, remember? Maybe I can catch Cthulhu. That would be nice. Wait. Ha! <laughs> Whoop! I hope the carp are bit biting today. I was too close to the ground. Oh, we're crossing lines. How am I gonna know that there's a bite? Oh, it tells me. Oh, 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 ah, lost it. We lost it. We're going to try again. No way you'd be fishing in winter. Fair. Yeah, the game is making me fish. Uh, no, in this sort of, of creek, they're going to be fine. Oh, 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 oh. Hey! Oh, that's a bluegill. We don't need bluegills. Seriously, I can catch the wrong fish? And I need to catch three. Have I ever told you guys how much I hate when they lock progression behind fishing? Is he gonna catch any? Here we go. Carp? You know what? That's not quite the fish we're aiming for. I know, I know we, you know what? You can make it with bluegill instead. Who cares if it's carp or bluegill? Yeah, I put bait on the hook and it's cheese. And according to the game, it should be the right bait as well. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna just gonna throw it back. Look. I'm gonna put that there. I, I got the right bait, right? The cheese delight. Cheese delight. Chances of catching common carp 
bluegill, chub, or goldfish? Goldfish? I better not be catching any goldfish. Goldfish are tropical fish. They do not live in this cold weather. Okay, we're gonna go again. Yeah, cold fish, they do live in this weather. That was a terrible throw. Hey, ringside rundown, how are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, do we get this one? Be a carp, please. Come and carp! They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. I mean, that, that, that is commonly understood, correct? We got one. We got one. There better be more carp in this. Another freaking bluegill. It's another freaking bluegill. <sighs> Can you catch a carp as well, by the way? You know what? At this point, a body a body part sounds like a good idea. Another carp! Just one more left. So you're not gonna catch anything then. Not a thing. No, I don't, Frosty. Hey, Titan Shark, he's probably catching goldfish. You know what? You're probably right. You're probably right. There we... We're done! <sighs> do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. Yeah, let's... Do, do, no, I don't want this. Have... Yeah, leave it all there. I don't need... You know what? Throw the carp... That's not good for a guitar. Do not leave guitars outside. He's not using the bait. He wasn't catching anything. I'm gonna walk in and suddenly Nora is gonna be in my face and I'm gonna get jump scared again. Why? Why has the music suddenly gone from happy cheery to oh my god, we're all gonna die? While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure. Take a bowl, ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. Why the ginger paste? That's frozen yogurt. Is is that the yogurt he, me he meant? Or is there like a different yogurt in the... No, that's milk. Put it back. Yeah, ginger and Italian seasoning does not tend to be a thing that goes together. Also, the yogurt is apparently froyo. We're apparently using froyo instead of yogurt. <laughs> You're gonna cry over that? Okay, fine. Look, we'll keep it nice and cold, okay? The milk can stay nice and cold. What else did I need? Ginger paste. Is that paprika? That is paprika. Uh, Italian seasoning. There we go. Ginger garlic paste. Uh, it'll have to do. Olive oil. Oil, usually near the... No. Hold your horses. The fish will be right out. I mean, at the moment, you seem to be fondling a fish. Or gently washing it. Where's the oil? There's the oil. Never mind. Got it. Lunicorn, it is one of the fears to fathom games. This is a real story. A real 
horror story and um they made it into a game this is the fifth episode you actually put a gallon of milk once when we went off to a cabin in the mountains yeah you can you can just put that in the freezer if you really want to uh fish marinade Oh, he scored them too. Or not. No, he didn't. Why did we need three fish if I can only fit two? The other one just doesn't get... Yeah, that's fine. Now could you add the veggies? I read it needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. Lemon and tomato. Are you sure this was a recipe? Are you sure? Are you sure? Uh, Matt survival's going to rely on that milk and he won't be able to find it. That is actually possible. Yeah, absolutely. Ducky, thank you for the lurk. You legend. Okay, close that up. I'm just gonna assume it's on 400. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the next room, next to the living room. Which one? Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the ne room next to the living room. If you follow me, I swear. Do not follow me. Hey, Torek! How are you doing? Hmm. What game do people want to play? How about some Dragon's Labyrinth? No, we're not going to play the Ouija board. How about something that gets our adren- You asked me to find a game. I come back with a game. You then go, no, not that one. <sighs> we're going to have to play the Ouija board, aren't we? Shit, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Snakes and ladders. That'll get our adrenaline pumping. I don't know. Maybe something with a bit more suspense. Do you want to go... Do you want to go grab the game? Do you... They're right there. He asks me. This is... This is... Sorry. This is what happens. V I'm not going to say any names here, but I live together with someone where whenever I try to, when I'm like, do you want to play a game? Yeah, sure. You pick. And then I pick something. And then the person who I live with, um, who I'm not going to name at all, right? Uh, but is the mother to my to my child, um, will, will go, sure. And then she's like, pick a game. And then I pick a game. And then it goes... No, I don't really feel like that. Okay, what about game B? No, no, what about what? I don't really feel like that either. Well, what do you feel like? Oh, I don't know. You pick. Uh, Mike is not, no, Mike is not my girlfriend. No. Oh, snap, is that a Ouija board? Molly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of the boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? That's a great idea. This is a terrible idea. Watch out for spiders down here. There weren't any spiders earlier. Now I'm worried that there are spiders here. No, Mike. Apparently, so Mike. Mike is 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 not my anything. Just a friend. You know what would make this even spookier? If you say turn the lights off.
You set it up then. Oh. Mike is so demanding. I don't like... Mike is not a likable character. Do you know how this works, Harper? Yes. All right, then. You go first. Do you want us to leave? This is not how this works. Mike is just moving the plan shirt at this point. Mike is literally just moving the plan shirt. Our hand is not even on it. No way. Are you moving it? Um, my hand's not on it, Michael. How can I move it? Okay, I got one too. Yeah, no, the, they, the ghost want us to leave. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Uh, what is he? Oh, wait, I'm moving it now. What do you mean I'm moving it? It didn't do anything. It didn't answer. What's your name? S H M R. My turn. Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Holy crap! Wait, Mike! Dude, you just ran away! You just ran away! Oh no, it's Shimmer. Yeah, it's Shimmer. There's some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. Yes, you. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass too. Would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Whatever. Where's Nora? Nora, you here yet? Mike, yeah. Mike is a creep and a wuss. There was a fishing mini game, Mrs. Bright. Which we had to play, and it didn't give us the right fish multiple times. And then Mike wanted to cook something, but really all he did was chop veggies and clean fish, and I did everything else. And uh, Nora, who was supposed to be here, is still not here. All in all, this trip is not going great. Hey, Grandma Boo! No, no, I'm not married to Mike. The owner of the house asked earlier, and the owner of the house just went, uh, and I, the, the character just went, No, we're, we're just friends. We're not a couple. I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? If we're going to have eating sounds again, I'm going to be unhappy. Come on, Nora. I do not want eating set up. Is that for the both of us? Or were you did, I, did you expect that I grab my own plate? Uh, okay. Had to grab a... You, you didn't even plate? Didn't even freaking want to plate for me. I think there might be some eating sounds coming up. Can we just watch TV now? I'm gonna... I'm actually going to do the opposite. I'm gonna turn down the volume for you guys while we eat. We had to catch the show on the TV while we ate. Can you turn the TV on, Mike? I bet you can't. 
The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. We stir fry this in a pan with Irish tofu. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna taste like shit. But here you are anyway, listening to my cooking. You shit. don't fry mayonnaise. This green of the mayonnaise. We, we got to inject it with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us. It gets very angry once it knows we're trying to cook it. After doing that, we mix all the ingredients together in a tray and place it inside the oven. Okay, and while that's cooking, we can start on the appetizer. Gasoline-soaked ramen. Now, this okay, that's it. Yeah, that's enough. I'm gonna eat quickly. Yep, no gasoline-soaked ramen, please. And still, what you will need is gasoline and ramen. This dish really soothes the soul. Almost like a cayenne cleanse. Uh, we begin no. By pouring the gasoline into this pot. Make sure not to use whole gasoline since it's really bad for you. Maybe use two percent or half and half. Do not half use and half diesel. gasoline. So after letting the gasoline come to a boil, we can put in our ramen. I'm using some stuff I found in my grandmama's basement. But you can use whatever kind you like. This ramen will taste fantastic once the gasoline And this was our show into the noodles. It's actually kind of scientific. Bill Nye who the gasoline molecules merge with the noodle molecules and they taste very good. Yeah, no, you go away. Now that this is cooking, we can check on our cake. You know, no, you you go away. I'm listening. I'll if clean up. Oven catches on fire. Make sure to put it out with the fire extinguisher. Well, damn. Uh, uh damn. That's Mrs. Burnt. Bright. Uh, thank you so much for the gift. It's up to Mega this. Greg. You absolute but, legend. But not to worry. Thank you very, very I much. Someone who will. I hope you enjoy that, Mega Greg. Yo, enjoy yo, the 30 yo. days of after reviewing. Enjoy the 30 days of yo, emotes and have yourself a wonderful time. No, 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 Here in the pipe pub, please give Mrs. Is. Bright a big old thank you. Uh, bye, Grandma. Stay in your room. I don't want you wandering around the house again. Get back in there. Okay, I'm glad she ate that up. I wouldn't want any food to go to waste. Anyways, I guess we can still enjoy our gasoline ramen, which is ready to serve. I hope y'all enjoy eating this as much as I will. Let's eat! Jeffrey, I, d I never want to watch your show again. I never want to watch Jeffrey's show again. Oh! Need a break? Is this ads! Five stressing you out? Take a vacation with rentacabin.com. We offer thousands of cabins readily available and accessible with the first Enjoy amazing views and undisturbed relaxation in our refurbished cabins. Titan Shark! Not only are these cabins cheap, but they're Titan Shark, you absolute legend! Holy shit! Thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Including pet friendly, alcohol friendly, to Sharky, Lampy Refay. To Dredger, to Rose Reaper, to Helene, Dizzy Chick, Papa Yokai, Callistus, Atomic Spoonie, and Koala. Holy shit, Spoonie! Hello, hello! You know what? Thank you so, so much. That was very, very kind of you. I am going to immediately do a bean time poll! Let's go, let's go. Let's do it, let's do it. Get your votes in. What is it going to be? Is it going to be sour? Is it going to be extreme? Or is it going to be spicy? How you doing, Spoonie? How you doing, Percy? Please, no, that is not me. No, no, no. We wouldn't We wouldn't force, force feed you burnt stuff. We wouldn't. That would be unfair and not nice all at once. Where am I supposed to clean the dishes? We just had to get the plates. Okay. We have to get both plates. 
You do? That is also gang. That's awesome. Is there a carp flavored bean? Um, what have I told you? There is a dead fish flavored bean. Yeah, technically there is. It's it's one of the ones that it can be. I, I have the plates. Oh, you can carry both plates now. Okay. No, no, it's okay, Danny. He had to go upstairs and do something. I'll do the cleaning. That gives me some time. That gives me some time without Mike. I'm okay with this. You think that's a joke, by the way? Uh, it is It is exactly the reason why when we're at my in-laws, I tend to go ahead and offer that I do, you know, the dishes. It works. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Michael? You better not be joking. Michael? Don't make sounds. Walk slow. Michael, if that is you under the bed... It's gotta be Michael under the bed, isn't it? <laughs> what the hell, Mike? I totally got you. That's it, I'm out. It's not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. You were gonna wanna go for the next round? What do you mean, next round? How about a game of hide and seek? Fine. I'll count to ten. I decided to hide in the basement. Why is Mike still single? Uh, it's clearly. I decided to hide in the nook under the stairs. Got you! Nixie, thank you so much for the follow. Kick back, relax, have yourself a wonderful time here in the Pie Pub. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing amazing. And guess what? It is time for Booger or Pear. Cheers. Pear. Tastes like one of those tiny ice creams. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Close eyes. One, two, three, four. You actually have to count. Here I come! Mike! Why are we playing this? Pretty sure we're adults, right? Mike? Are you in here? No. 
You're not in here. Are you in here? Uh, no, you're not in the fridge. Yeah, the sound meter is actually going to be something uh, typically insane. It's the only way you can stay safe in some cases. It is creepy as hell. Wait, Mike is hiding. Where are his car keys? We, can we just grab his car keys? We can just leave. Oh, he's gonna be here somewhere, isn't he? Is he in here? The light's on, dude! Gotcha! Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear that? No, I didn't. I swear on my life I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. Really? Guess what? You're gonna make me go up, right? Couldn't reach it without a step stool. Okay, well, can I use this? Ch no. Where's the step stool? There it is. Did you still have the keys because you drove to the house? True, Rex. We could just go. Hello, Julius Caesar. Creepy. Hello? It's the bloody cat! Hey, Vicky, how are you? Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Good kitty. Mike, it's just a kitty. Oh, did you lay down? Oh, such a good kitty. Such a good kitty. Yeah, come on. Let's get you home, huh? I know. Wait, Vicky! It's your birthday. You know what that means. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a birthday in the house. Vicky from me and the community, I hope you have a wonderful day. A wonderful day with all the cake, all the gifts, and all the hugs that you desire from me and the community. Happy birthday. Let's go, let's go. Come on, kitty. We're going down. Yeah, we're going down here. It's okay. It's just a cat. <laughs> Looks like you aren't the only pussy in the house. Oh my god. What a voice line. What a voice line. <laughs> it is not my birthday. No, no, no. No, it's Vicky's birthday. Yeah, it's Vicky's birthday. What do you mean by that? It was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh, yeah? Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I can find you again. I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. It is. It is, Vicky. It's not my birthday. It is definitely not my birthday. Why would I hide in the tool shed? Well, why do you think that this is a good place to hide? Are we just gonna... I mean, we could crawl on the beam. Can we... Can we... No? Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. He's just slow. Where is he going? 
Gax, the thing is, what I love about these kind of games is it's a horror, but it's very story driven. It's all about the story. Nothing is about the jump scares. The jump scares are just fun extras. No. Ah, there you are. Damn, Harp. It took me a while to figure out you left the house. I know. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. Fine. Don't forget to feed the cat. Thank you, Toria. Thank you very much. Uh, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He said he'll hide in the house, right? Is Mike going to hide at the bottom of the sea now? No. Of course not. That would be normal. Also, why has Nora not arrived yet? I was going to stay up until... Is that upstairs? Do you guys hear that knocking? He's not here again, is he? This is true. This is true. Oh, nice. I know I expected somebody to be there. What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. Why the hell are you back here again? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in every time I fix something. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. I'm really liking the game, by the way, Toria. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you'd need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple of minutes ago. If you heard anything before, it must have been that old lady, remember? <laughs> Look, we need to go to bed now. You're asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I... I... We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please let me handle this. Also, hello, Ms. Grizz. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest a homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't ha handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave ya to it. Or I'll leave you to it. Whichever one it is. Well, we are going to have to fix the faucet now. <sighs> yeah, screw the hundred bucks. I'll just leave. At this point, I'll take the car. I'll leave. Mike, don't want to be around anyway. Nora, not here yet. Game, it's gone completely black and I have no idea why. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seems like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. 
But by this time, I was getting really tired. I decided to get some rest. I mean, Nora's still not here, but sure. Also, there are only two bedrooms. Oh, this is where the spooky starts, isn't it? Hey, Daniela! How are you doing? Coming in for that supporter of the week! Let's go, let's go. Nora! Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when somebody's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. I'm go I'm going to sleep though, if that's okay. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hate that Nora's out there all alone. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Uh, okay. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people. They care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, go Sydney. I know, right? Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the place like he owns the place. He he, do, he does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in to this place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Me too. It'll help if we both get some sleep. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? That's because I don't want to. You want this bed instead? That's okay. Yeah, I'll sleep in the other room. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Harp, you know... I've missed this. Us. Just talking. It's been so long. You know? You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where is this coming from? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I do remember it. Really, really well. I remember it being pretty awkward. Hey, Tamar, how are you doing? Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> no, Nightblade, it's a streamer. I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? I actually think that that is Limalicious. I think it's Limalicious. We had Queso earlier. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. No, we can't. We better get ready. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sen sense in both of us freezing our asses off. That's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. 
Okay, so now we're being left alone here. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. Do we really have to? See you, Mike. I don't really want to. I couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. Can't Mike lock the front door? No, he just leaves it open. Hey, why did you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out mourning you right now. You're probably right. Look, make sure to take care of yourself. Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Mike does nothing. I mean, Mike is trying a lot. Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. Fine. Drive safe. No, no. He might... He might die. He, he deserves it. He, he can have... He can have a hug. That door's locked. That door's locked. I'm... No, I'm... I'm very, very strong on... One very important thing. And that is never say goodbye to a friend in a bad manner. Always try to, to leave at a good point. Because you might never see them again. There are many ghost orbs. Yeah. Decisions were made. It's fine. Everything's fine. Exactly. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. An hour later. I mean, that's very fast. We're 70 miles away. Twice. Hello? It's the... I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. It's the hiker. It's the hiker that we chose not to pick up. Do you have any idea what time it is? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting in a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be as big a bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. But looks like you're still unkind. Please just leave or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck either. I'm dialing 911. Suit yourself. He's gonna try and break in, isn't he? But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. 
Oh, why? There are so many creeps out here. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. Really? A dude just followed you from a pizza place. Oh, I wouldn't I wouldn't sleep. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. He knows all about me. I am le tired. He's throwing snowballs at my window. Rick, please. I'm sorry to bother you again, but come, you can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down here. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared and think I hear him out moving outside the house. Can you please come look since you live so close? Oh, I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Uh... Mike? Mike? Hello? Yes? Despite how strange Rick has been, seeing them there was a relief. Hey, Rick. What the hell's... What the hell's going on here? Oh, Rick, I'm so glad you came. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Okay, good. Um. By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. He should be back soon. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Why are you carrying a hammer? Why are you still carrying a hammer? Storms like this brings out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Okay, I'll, I'll stay away. Come back over? What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Then still didn't feel safe opening the door. Rick was in the house. I don't think that's Rick. Nope, 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 nope. What am I going to do? Hey, 
Hey, Cobalt. Hey, Lexi. He's just standing there. Menacingly. Why is he walking after me? Look, I have 2,000 hours in Phasmophobia. I can loop the ghost. That's fine. It's freezing cold outside. I can't go further. Rick. I don't really want to get caught by you, Rick. Fake Rick. Fake Rick, go away. What do I do? Literally, where do I go from here? Michael, please. Help. Help. Anybody? Rick was in the house. I know! Do I just talk to him? Does he just want to talk to me? Everything okay? Oh, he just wanted to talk to me! Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Hey, bookish! Loving this game. It is good. Everything okay, miss? Yeah! Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who you talking to? It's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around. Make sure everything's really okay. Who are you? What did you just say? This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. What do you mean that killed me? That killed me? I'm quickly gonna turn off the eating sounds. Oh! How do I- do I run to the basement? So I think Rick is gonna be here. Yeah, we're gonna have to go through this quickly. Thank god you're here, blah blah blah, it's all good. Yes. Yes, all good. See? We're, we're all good, yes. Yeah, Mike will be back. But I don't think it was quick. I would have been quick enough. I don't think we would have been quick enough. Come back over. What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Yeah, everything's okay. You're not Rick, are you? Get out of here before I call the cops. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. I mean, yes, that's the idea.
Bad timing, Nora! Bad timing! To the door. Go, 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 go. No! No! That's so loud. Why is that so loud? He got me again. He got me again. Oh, we're going to try that again. Uh, Riz them with <laughs> Riz, how you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Cat scene, welcome in as well. Oh, I didn't expect me to spawn there. I didn't expect to spawn. Th That's still loud. Didn't expect to spawn right there. Okay. Nope. 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 Run. 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 I walk out and immediately if I uh, lobbed in your house I was watching stream Sprint, 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 please.
I may have gotten us stuck. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What do I do? What can I do? What do I... Where do I go? He broke the door of the door handle. Get to the shed. That's dangerous. Uh, that's also not going to work. He was standing right there. Come back over. What do you mean? Are you alright? Just got done talking to the other guests on the phone. I've called 911. Thank you. I heard the kitty, though. Kitty! Kitty! Ooh, everything's better with kitty around. What do we do? I just don't... I don't know if I should go back downstairs. Shall we try? There was a pet the cat option. There was. <gasps> they kicked the freaking door in. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. Our drive back the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used. And planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind the man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after that he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. Of a hundred dollars. Of a hundred freaking dollars.